Do you have problems getting your back tight whenever you squat? I can fix that. What's up guys, my name is Sutton Hay. I am an aspiring strongman and powerlifter. I'm gonna show you something I've learned that really helped me get into a good position whenever I'm squatting. And I did it using really high-tech, very expensive equipment that I have access to. A PVC pipe, three quarter inch, any size will do, that I had lying around my dorm room for no reason that I can explain. PVC pipes are very good for learning positioning. Weightless and they, the bendable nature allows you to feel the way muscles interact with each other just getting into position before you actually initiate the lift. I'm gonna talk a little bit about that, but first, put on your back. High bar or low bar, doesn't matter. You know it's not that big of a deal, and I want you to hold it like this. What you're gonna notice though is the bar, the bar, the PVC pipe is bending. I'm barely applying any pressure. My hands aren't gripped around it super tight. Just the edge of my palm is pushing down and already you can see it's locked in. This isn't going anywhere. From the side, you can see it's in the appropriate position for me. This is where I do high bar. If I wanted to do low, I'd have it down here and lean forward a little bit more. I'm doing this to illustrate a couple of things. First, you don't have to grip the bar super tight in order to get a tight back. This is a mistake a lot of people make. They grab the bar, grab it super tight and walk up like this, but notice the bar's bending less. It's bending a little bit, but it's straighter right now. Less force being applied to the bar, a less tight upper back, and it's going to slide around a little bit more. Back up here, right there. Bar's not going anywhere. A solution that a lot of people use, and that I use currently, is going with a thumbless grip and actually rotating the wrist slightly out on the squat like this. Not really grabbing the bar super tight, and yet it's still locked into the back. This is going to help you get your back tight because it trains you rather that trains you to rely on your back being tight and your traps being tight rather than your hands squeezing it hard. You take the grip out of the equation and you can finally learn how to get the muscles tight independent of your grip. Now, this next bit is complete bonus material. Any of you that have seen my Instagram page or looked at me in person know that I have a pretty decent squat and probably that I've had to fight for it with months of working on my mobility and positioning. And using this PVC pipe is what I did to do it a lot of the time. Let me explain. Put the bar on your back just like you did before for the grip exercise and hold it whatever way you want. Now, you notice from the side the bar is bending down but also in front, out towards my face, out towards the front of my body. It's not bending straight down. The goal is to stand in position and then lean or stick your hips back until the bar's curve is pointing straight down to the ground. You see? If I was to go low bar, they would bend farther forward and have to bend farther down. This is the angle that I use to squat at, whether high bar or low bar. Not necessarily saying it's going to work for everybody, but trust me, put a PVC pipe on your back, find which angle your torso makes the bar perpendicular to the ground, and try getting into that position before you squat. You might just find it's a lot more comfortable. Everybody should be squatting. Everybody should have the, ability, the mobility and the ability to squat. And whatever I can do to help you get there, I am happy to do. My name is Sutton Hay, and thanks for watching.